port posted a mixed set of quarter four numbers. Company's quarter four containers volume uh, jumped 22 percent on a YY basis, but it missed the EBITDA of the company's high expenses. Uh, Girish Agrawal, the MD of the company, right. is joining. All right. Uh, I think they'll just try to fix your audio in a bit. We have with us uh, Mr. Girish Agarwal, who is the MD of Gujarat Pipa Wow Port, joining in. Thanks a lot, Mr. Agarwal, for joining in. Um, you know, on the fourth quarter performance itself, I wanted to know now as things stand, how are ocean freight rates, how do they compare with the average that we saw in the fourth quarter? And what's the outlook on this in the volumes for the year going ahead? Hey, good afternoon uh, to you and, and to your viewers. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, Ocean Freights, uh, uh, most of the shipping lines have come uh, with their results uh, for their Q1, which is Jan to March. And I think what we are seeing that the Ocean Freights have dipped uh, year on year by almost 30 to 70%, depending on the shipping line. So a lot of uh, drop uh, markets, I think, continue to be tight. Even in India, we've seen uh, the container market not really growing to the extent that we thought it would. Annual growth is roughly about 4%. Gujarat has grown by only 3% uh, annually. So uh, tough market. I think, uh, you know, outlook essentially, I, I feel that this quarter and the coming quarter potentially would continue to be uh, tough, uh, but, but it'll ease out as we move forward uh, back of the la uh, last two quarters. Okay, we take your point, uh, Mr. Agrawal. I just wanted to understand what is leading to the fall. Of course, realizations is one thing. During COVID, there were elevated levels in terms of ocean freight. Is it a volume-led decline that we are seeing or is it a mix of both? Uh, in terms of our business, essentially, uh, I think broadly we perform really well, whether it's the quarter or the annual numbers, uh, both in terms of uh, revenue growth as well as margin growth. Uh, margins have uh, slightly declined quarter on quarter, I think largely because of a one-off where we typically do a maintenance dredging, uh, you know, every practically every two years. And that's the big cost that is hitting us uh, in this quarter. Uh, but that's a one-off for us. Also, as, a, uh, as the management, we strongly believe that we need to follow a growth strategy, and that's what we're trying to do. Uh, that may mean uh, uh, some additional cost on customer acquisition that uh, we have incurred. But that won't continue over a period of time. So I think uh, focus is on growth and we are growing pretty strongly in all our, practically all our businesses. Yes, no, I do get that point. And you have seen volume growth in your container trains, you've seen in container handled on trains. What I wanted to understand, when you say the next two quarters could see some softness, uh, will it be largely because of lower realizations or because the offtake would be lower? Is that a demand-led issue there? Yeah, it's a demand-led issue. The uh, volumes continue to be tough. Even the, uh, I mean, we're seeing uh, 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 softness in the Asia-America trade, roughly 14, 15% down. Uh, we are also seeing softness in the uh, imports and exports within the country, essentially. I think uh, India exports and imports roughly were down 14% uh, uh, or thereabouts in the month of April uh, by value term. So I think there's softness in demand uh, overall uh, in the market. WT is also predicting roughly 1.7% growth rate uh, downward bias. So I think that's where we are uh, in the market. But the back uh, two quarters, we expect things to stabilize. Right. You know, one of the businesses amidst every other business in your uh, you know, organization, which is doing better than the others, is the Roro business, where we've seen you know, a jump from almost uh, 6,100 uh, uh, units to close to 15,000 units year on year. And sequentially also for the last three quarters, it's been growing. Is this structural in nature? And is this business margin accretive for you? I mean, how does that compare in terms of revenue for you? And what 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 is the outlook here? You're absolutely right, uh, Manglam. Uh, clearly, Roro is a very, very good business uh, from a growth perspective. Uh, uh, on a sequential quarter on quarter basis, we're growing, as you rightly said. The outlook is extremely strong. It is structural in nature. We've added uh, new customers. Uh, we believe in the coming uh, year also, we should be growing by almost 50%, if not more. So I think uh, this is a very, very strong business power and margin accurate, without any doubts. Yeah, so that was going to be my next question. Since we are seeing so much growth or expecting so much growth in Roro, how much higher are the margins here? And uh, uh, can you take any more price hikes in this particular segment? Because that is something which is not driven so much by demand and supply, but individual company uh, costing as well. Uh, so what is outlook on, outlook on this particular segment? 
No, I, I, we are at least not looking at a, a price hike uh, in the coming quarter, uh, Sonal. We don't intend to uh, uh, do that. We continuously evaluate uh, uh, tariff, uh, our tariff positions vis-a-vis -vis the market. Uh, we really think the, this is not the right time to take the tariff hikes. We want to focus on customer acquisition, and that's what we are doing. All right, then let's uh, talk numbers, Girish. Uh, before we let you go, quickly, if you could tell us, you know, containers, you did about 7.6 lakh uh, TEUs in all of FY23. Dry bulk, you did about 3.9 lakh TEUs, or rather 39 lakh TEUs. We had uh, your liquid business, which did about 10 lakh. So for all these businesses, what's the kind of volume growth that you're factoring in or projecting for FY24? Yeah, I think uh, what we are saying uh, is essentially container growth should be in the region of 8 to 12 percent at the back of a very, very soft and tough market. Uh, we believe liquid has a very strong story ahead. Uh, we should be growing anywhere between 25 to 30 percent, more towards 30 percent than 25 percent. We're seeing a strong growth and momentum. We, in fact, announced a $90 million investment in a new liquid jetty, uh, uh, which should come uh, post-regulatory approvals in about two years' time from now. Uh, and I think it's a structural story. Again, it will continue to grow, uh, especially LPG. Uh, in terms of our Roro business I spoke about, uh, we're looking at almost a 50% uh, kind of a business uh, uh, increment in the coming uh, financial year. So finally, before we let you go, what would that uh, translate into FY24 revenue growth and margins? What are you targeting? Yeah, yeah I think uh, uh, overall, uh, I, we don't want to really project a, a very high growth in terms of revenue, et cetera. We believe uh, we have uh, we have a runway to grow anywhere between three to seven percent uh, in terms of uh, revenue and and uh, margins growth. But again, you know this is a tough market. We will uh, continue to focus on growth and customer acquisition, uh, and and that's what we think will happen uh, in the year. All right, take that point, Girish. Thank you so much for joining in. Always a pleasure speaking with you. Wish you good luck in what uh, could be a tough environment. Uh, hopefully, you will eke out the growth that you are managing and promising to us. Uh, take a shot.